are several ways you can work with Excel files within Google. So for example, if you get Excel files emailed to you and then you need to update them regularly and email them back, this is a good scenario for putting that Excel file in Google Drive so you can work on it in Sheets. Let's take a look at ways you can complete this process starting right in Gmail. So I have an Excel attachment here and the sender is asking me to update it and reply back with the updated version. So when I hold my mouse over the attachment, there are several options I can do here. I can download it and then work directly in Excel. I can add this to Drive. And finally, I can edit it in Google Sheets. When I edit in Google Sheets, it's going to add it to Drive too. So I'm going to start with the Add to Drive button. When I click that, I'll get a message that it's adding it and then a confirmation that it was added and the top and the bottom. So for a while, this message here to organize will stay and this allows you to put it in a specific folder. If that disappears, hold your mouse over the little cardigan and then you can click what now is organize and drive. This opens up a tool that allows you to move it to different locations within your drive that are suggested or move it to or show all your locations so you can move it where you need to from there. I'm going to leave it where it is for now, so I'll click cancel. So now let's go ahead and edit this. When I click on edit with Google Sheets on this card, it's going to ask me, do I want another copy or do I want to use the one I already added to Drive? I don't want to clutter up my drive and confuse myself with multiple copies, so I will choose edit latest. This is going to open up that Excel file directly in Chrome in Google Sheets. So first off, I know this is an Excel file because of the little sticker near the title that says .xlsx. So that tells me I'm working with an Excel file directly in Sheets. Now, in most cases, you'll be able to edit everything from your Excel in Google Sheets. But in some cases, if you see a ref error, you might have some adjusting to do to the file to make it work in here, in which case you're better off working in Excel. But in this case, we have only a simple formula. This works just fine. All right, so if I want to go ahead and make my updates here, uh, let's say some of these students have completed some more credits. I can update my numbers here, my formulas update. And so now when I am ready to send a version of this back, there's a really great built-in tool here. So I'm going to click on File. And in the Email section, because this attachment originally came from an email. I have these great tools here that say reply with this file and open the original message. So if I want to go back to the original email and attach an updated version of the Excel file, I can do that with reply with this file. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to open a new window that has that email with the new version of the Excel file automatically attached to the bottom here. So I can say, here you go. Here's the updated version, super easy. And whenever I need to make updates to this in the future, I have it right in Drive and I can find it, make updates easily and email it directly from here. All right, so that's a fantastic feature. Let's say that you want to email it to someone else, perhaps not through that original message. Or if you upload an Excel file to Google Drive, not through Gmail, you still will have the option here to email the file. So when I click on that, it's going to open up an email tool right in Sheets. I like to copy myself, so I have a record I sent it. You can add in whoever want to send it to in a subject. Here's the file. At the bottom, you can choose what type of file you want to send. You can send this as a PDF, an open office spreadsheet, or a Microsoft Excel file. Choose whichever one you want, and when you click on send, that email will also send from there. So when that file sends, the recipient will see something like this. So it says it's coming from Sheets, and the attachment would be at the bottom there. If you have an Excel file stored in Google Drive, and you actually want to open it in Excel, you can do that too. So I have this Excel file here. I can tell it's Excel because the thumbnail. So when I have that Excel file, I will right click on it, and I want to see open with, and I want to choose Microsoft Excel at dot app. So if you don't see that as an option, you'll need to do a few things. You'll need to install Google Drive for desktop and the Chrome application launcher extension, and then you'll need to be working in Chrome. Check the description for links to these items. So when I click to open it in Excel, 
it will open. And because this is stored in Google Drive, in the bottom right, so long as I have those tools, the Drive for Desktop and the Launcher installed, I will see a note about what's going on with this with other people who have access. So if no one has access, you'll see that no one else has access. If you see new version created, someone else modified it, and you can click Get Latest to get the updated file. If you see Safe to Edit, that means to the best of Google's knowledge, no one else is editing it now. Quick warning, these real-time notes in Excel are a bit buggy. So if you're going to be editing collaboratively, edit in Google Sheets. So I can go ahead and make my changes in here. And then the cool thing is when I save this, it'll save all the changes back to the file that's in Google Drive. So let's give Oliver 43, let's save that again. So back in Google Drive, I'm gonna see the last modified time is actually my current time because I just edited it in Excel. And if I open it in Google Sheets, I'm going to see those numbers I updated in Excel. Now let's say I don't need this file anymore in my Google Drive because I've finished updating it and all the versions I need have been sent to the audience that needs them. So I wanna go ahead and clean it up from my drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to regular Google Drive here, drive.google.com. I searched for the file name using the advanced search on the right. I said the item name is demo student completion, clicked on search, and then I got the file that I added. First, it's good to know every time you save this file in Sheets or in Excel, it's creating another version. And all those versions are stored if I right click on the file name, and I go to File Information and click on Manage Versions. And this is true for any non-Google file. Manage Version is going to bring up every version that is saved for this. Now, this is probably not necessary. You probably don't need all these versions, especially if this is a larger file. It's really taking up a lot of space unnecessarily. So something I can do is scroll down this list and maybe go back to the bottom, the oldest. And if I click on the three dots on the side, I can click Delete and say, I don't need this version. Now let's say somewhere in the version's history there is a version that's important. I can click on the three dots on the right of that version and I can check the box that says keep forever and then delete the other files that I don't need. Now let's say that you don't need the file anymore at all. I can right click or control click on a Mac and choose move to trash. So then I don't need that file there anymore. I've finished updating it. And if I don't need that, that's fine. I can move it to the trash. And remember that the attachments I sent in mail are Excel files. So those will still be there. I'm not affecting anyone's access to those. So these are some great ways you can work with Excel files in the Google environment. Try them out.